For me, I think probably something in the services, a fireman or military-wise, probably that appealed to me more than anything. Um, I didn't do too well at school, so that probably didn't become an option at the time, but definitely something services-wise, I suppose. Prior to the supervisor role I've got now, I was a call taker for West Yorkshire Police uh, for approximately four years. I became a trainer of new staff within the department when they first came in and then moved on up to be a supervisor. Before I was a call taker from school uh, for approximately nine or ten years I was a landscape gardener. So a completely different change of role. Um, unfortunately I became unemployed for uh, the recession which hit the UK at the time which enabled me to think again about what kind of role I wanted to do as I got a little bit older. I saw an advertisement for call taker, went for it and surprisingly ended up working for West Yorkshire Police. I think that that first day when I walked in to an office where there were computers, keyboards, it was an atmosphere, an environment that I'd never worked in before. I were a manual labour type of worker before that, so to come into this environment I were facing new challenges every day, working with such a robust area, you know, such a robust difference of people, computers, information technology, systems, files, everything were just a world apart from what I was used to. The first couple of weeks I found it a little bit difficult, but with the support of staff, trainers, supervisors, um, fitted in really well. I think since then, I've been here nine years now, I feel I fit in more in this role than I ever did in anything before. I enjoy my job, so I couldn't ask for a better place to work, really. We currently work six on, four off. Um, I love the shift pattern, you know. We do two earlies, two lates, two nights, and it's just enough to recover from the shifts you're doing. We get four days off during the week, which enables you to do plenty of different things. Shopping, see your family, spend time with your children, you know, school holidays, it's such a benefit. Um, so it's a massive benefit for me, the six on four off, definitely. I suppose for my personal applications, for call taker and supervisor, um, if you take your time over it, make sure you answer the questions, that type of thing in full, understand what you're speaking about, speak about personal experiences, give examples from your own working life, environment, you know, be honest. I've always found that helps. I've taken part in a lot of interviewing processes myself since I've become a supervisor, <clears throat> interviewing new members of staff and, you know, to put a person at ease when they first come in and explain we just want to get the best out of you is possibly the hardest thing I think for some people to put across what they're trying to say but as long as you're honest and open I think that's always the best way to be really. The STAR model works really well, you know, give that situation, give the task, speak about what you did, people always struggle and always end up telling you what we did as a collective but I'm interviewing you, your, it's your application, we want to know about you, you know, and big yourself up I suppose, where people always fail to do that, they forget that we're interviewing for you, not anybody else, and make sure you give us that situation, you know, what you did to resolve it, the outcome at the end is always very important, and how you feel it could have gone better is always a massive benefit as well, I think. Be your own critic, you know, don't be afraid to say, I could have done this better because we're always open to change. I'd say do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. You know, you may think it's a struggle at first. You may think people ringing 999 are screaming, shouting. It's the worst calls you're going to take, but it's certainly not. A lot of the time, people just want that bit of guidance. They want a bit of help. And at the end of the day, that's what we're here for, to try and help people in their everyday life. And I'm definitely one that proved that it's been such a change and I'm quite happy that I've made it not as far as I'm going to go. There's still progression within the department that I'd be following every day, so go for it, definitely. There's always different roles, responsibilities that are coming up every day, opportunities, the support from your supervisors. We have a massive training package that we can teach. You know, staff, if they want to evolve and move on through roles, we'll offer support, be it in our department or other departments. We will do everything we can to help staff move on and move up, really.